Good morning, YouTube. This is your host, MC Red Smith, coming at you with episode four of my Restless Craft Let's Play. Uh, now, I've done a lot of stuff off screen, uh, as you'll notice. You know, I do have an arrow trap. I also went and collected a essence berry bush, which reminds me. Go ahead and collect that. Got a lot of uh of the you know berry bushes for Tinker's construct, and if you're wondering why I'm moving so quick, it's because of this. Um, as you may notice, I do have a lot of things. I also set up a uh, little showcase for the sword and what's left of the skull armor. I've also got a calcinator. I uh, pulled this from one of those uh, artifacts dungeons, as you see, Enderman Skull. Went ahead and killed off two uh, beasts there, one uh, Ender, one Fire, which was near our location, which would also explain this. <coughs> it is my Enderman farm. Yes, I said Enderman farm. Now, the reason why it's an Enderman farm is because you'll see I've started in on dark craft but I've also got Tinker's Construct as you would have noticed by the smeltery here okay so I've got a lot of resident ender and you'll see the big reactor here which is producing me power which looks like I'm gonna have to get some more on the go and there goes my Enderman farm. <laughs> yeah. Alright. As you also see, I've got <coughs> almost two full open block tanks worth of experience. That's all being fed into there via the fluid ducts from the vacuum hopper. I'm also... Well, to be honest... Let me uh, expand out my screen here so that you can see this a little bit better. And... Let's see. Is that going to be better for the video? No, it's not. A little bit wider. I'm trying to fix things on OBS as well as in the game. Alright. Now let me go ahead and reposition stuff. Alright. As you see, I do have a lot of ender pearls here, as well as a lot of armor. And that's all coming from the endermen inside there, as well as all these ender pearls. Bit overpowered. Now, if you want to see what's up there, let me. Really, endermen. Let's see, you got. And where'd you get to? There you are. Now where'd you get off to, you sucker? Yeah, I also uh in the default version the jetpacks aren't in Wolf's mod pack, so I installed that myself. It gives a reason another reason for the big reactors. Yeah, you know, leadstone, I mean I've got this thing pushing out basically 278 RF per tick into a hardened energy cell, which is holding 2 million, which is feeding both of these machines here, the pulverizer and the energetic infuser. Now, the generator here that I've got set up is powering the compressor so that I can make diamonds. And, you know, without having to go mining for them and stuff. I've got, you know, the whole dark craft thing. I've got a tier two uh, upgrade tome. So yeah, there's the bastard. Die. Okay, but let's go up here and I'll show you what I've done. Hopefully, let's see. I'd probably be better entering in there. Alright, as you see I have the monster spawners, which I did not cheat those in. Those came from, let me pull up on the map. Um, 
right where was it it was over this way right here uh, that is made out of nothing but in stone and inside there was the uh, stuff the uh, Enderman spawners so you know I decided eh, why not make a Enderman farm so as you see I've done that and yeah got me plenty of experience going I've got me an experience shower you know just in case I need levels oh I need to input that one level <laughs> I also still got my cactus farm on the go and let's see do I have I think I already processed that through yes I did it ain't much but it does get me through for the day pretty much on power <laughs> Mm, I would be drinking on some coffee right now, but, uh, yeah. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, since you're that far along in tech, why not, you know, just try to go ahead and defeat the Ender Dragon? Well, there's reasons. One, I'd like to defeat the Wither. And in order to do so, I have to have better capability of flight because he does fly. Now, if I take that off, you'll see I need, I at least need to get it upgraded to the hardened. Well, as you see, I'm going to need a lot of invar, which I need one of those. I need, I've already got one of those, but I need another one, as you'll see. So I got to make one of those. I got to make the compression dynamos, which are, you know, like basically tin, silk, you know, all that. I might do all that crafting off camera. And come back in next episode so that, uh, you know, that's all done and it's all taken care of. Now, I have been into the nether, which reminds me I need to get my sword. Oh, it's already been pulled out. Huh. Guess we had a thief ender a thieving enderman basically. Up oh, and flip that lever. And we'll go ahead and pop all that in. That's ferris. It takes two iron <coughs> to one ferris to get three invar. Now if you look down here, you'll notice we've only got four. So we still don't have enough to do what we need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head off into the nether. After I kill off that sucker. Alright. And to get in there without many problems. I'm going to go in as a choo-choo. Choo-choo. Alright. In we go. Oh wow. Wow. Where did all this fire come from? I do not need this fire to be here. God dang. Ah, get me out of this. Out, out, out. Ah, I'm dead. Dead gummit. Well, that just made it harder to get out of the another portal alright did I lose the choo choo yes I did let's see do I have anything that is capable of fitting into a one block area mm. let's see anything that can resist heat and fit into a one block high area as you can see I have killed a lot Ender Lord was the one I got the uh, Ender Rod from. Creeper Tot. Uh, I really don't want to do that one. Rather not do that one. I've also killed a, Ender, a mutant Enderman. As well as that mutant skeleton. Fire bet might be worthwhile. 
Eh, particle effects I can deal with. Alright, so out this way. Alright. Kill you. Really? Alright. Well, now that we're in here. Uh oh. Come here, dude. Punk. Let me go ahead and turn on my magnet mode. Oh, Lord. One of them. Uh. Well, anyways, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here. <clears throat> to mine up some resources. There we go. Some nether coal so I can make some diamonds. And eventually, you know, give me better gear. Or at least better equipped. Hello. Alright. Up off me, dudes. I said off me, you punks. Alright, now, right there is what I'm needing. Now, you'll notice I got seven out of those two. That's because I've got Fortune 2 on that pick. So, let's see, can I find any more? If it wasn't for the particles, right there we go. So we're just going around collecting up the power crystals right now. Dude, I don't really want to mess with you right now. Off me. Time to dig in for a minute so that they can leave me be. So I can regen some health. <coughs> Alright, now let's see. How full are the, is this backpack? Mm, pretty full. How full is this one? Pretty full as well. What about this one? Just about the same. That really ain't good. Throw the coal up in there. Mm, that only frees up one space. I really don't need the string. I can always get that later. Bones I can always get. Spider eyes don't really need those. Another word. I've got a farm of that. Uh, netherrack, not really interested in. The nether coal, I need that. Yeah, so. There we go. Now, I notice that my jetpack. <laughs> there we go. Was disabled. I mean, yeah, I am a bat. But I also move pretty quick with the jetpack, too. Ooh. So what is this? Nice gold. Not what I'm looking for as well. Ooh. And you are a what? Eh, some sort of spirit. You know what? Let's see. My jetpack's already down to 19%. So I'm just going to fly around this way. Ooh. I want to kill you. Go ahead and fill that up. Put that on my back. God, I need to get rid of these particles. I need to find me another bat form. Because I lost my last bat form. Thanks to being killed by the Enderman. One reason why I made a Enderman farm. 
one of those swords freezes them in place so that they can't teleport while they get hit with the rest of this stuff. Aye, uh uh. No. Really, dude? Everything wants to freaking kill me. Good God. And I need that right over there. Hmm. Let's see. Hello, guest. Time to get your tears. Come here, dude. Life still blast off. You didn't steal no life that time around. Now did you, sucker? Alright, let's get in here with this real quick. And get up out of there. Here's some more of what I'm needing. Alright, time to get rid of these particles effects. Uh, let's see, what do I want to be right now? Ooh, I got a trite. That'll work out perfect. Ah, no. Ah, get me out of that. Thank you. Oop. Off me. Where are you? You son of horse. Son of... Ah, off. God dang it. <coughs> I had three of them on me. Three of them. One of them was a boss. Oh my god. And I lost my trite, more than likely. Did I lose my trite? So I got a ghast. I do have a bat. So let's see. F5. Yes. Okay, good. Get me back in there, sucker. Wait a second. Uh-uh. No, my pick. My looting pick. Where is my looting pick? No. Uh-uh. No. Fuck off! Excuse my language, everybody. Okay, it had to be over here. Had to be over here. Yes, right there is where I died. There's my experience. Bones. Screw you, dude. That can go away. Where'd my pick get to? No, I don't want friggin' netherrack. There it is. Whew. Really? Grrr. Leave me be. Grrr. Right there. That's what I'm needing. I ain't mad at me, so. Uh, let's see. 
I don't need that. Off me, off me. No. Friggin' heck. Off. Okay. I don't need that. Nor the gunpowder. But I do need that. Okay, what did I pick up? Those can go. That can go. That can stay. That lung can go. God bless it. That can also go. Alright. Oop. Okay, that's... I hate you guys. Come here. Out of my existence, please, and out of my area. Of course, they'll always come back because those fires are there. Uh. I know last episode was labeled gathering, and this episode is more gathering more or less and I do apologize for that if y'all don't want to see this type of stuff <coughs> let me know come here dude okay I am low on food <laughs> we're going to land right over here oh wow my boots are about gone uh, let's see I'll swap those out for the protection boots. Let them take a little bit of damage before anything else. Because I really don't need to be moving that fast while here in the nether. Because I miss stuff like that. Which is one reason why I'm here. By the way, uh, the nether, any ores that you mine up in the nether, all except for like the cobalt and the aridite and stuff like that, uh, you can actually get more of it. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a brief moment. Yes, it would be a little bit more time consuming, but the fact that uh, you get more of it outweighs the fact that it'd be time consuming. Let's see. Yeah, I got two hardened portable tanks. Mm. Really, I, I think I'm good to go back. Oh, all except for that right there, over there. Come here. Come here, beautiful. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, let's see if we can uh, lead them away from over there. Nope, not going to be able to lead them away. God dang, all this power ore. Kiting them is hardly ever a good thing. But because I'm a bat, it makes it a little bit harder for them to catch up to me. And they can't shoot fire up. So, yeah. So you get the zombie pigmen at, mad at them. And the zombie pigmen will help me out. <laughs> Alright, now it's time to get back to the portal. Whoa, hello! Goodbye, dude. Let's see. I need to head back in that direction. You can tell by how many deaths I have. <laughs> As to which direction I need to head. Let's see now. Oop. 
Actually, more that way. Yep, right there's the portal. With a lobber. There. Come on, heal up. See, I'm not sure how those guys keep getting through. But they do. Hello. And goodbye. <laughs> goodbye for now, Lopper. <laughs> See you next time. Alright. Now, I did say that I was going to show you how to get more out of your ores. As you see, we have the nether coal ore. And I do believe I have some in one of my bags. So let me see. Was it this bag? Yes, it was. All right, I got 55. Okay, there's my yellow iridium. Now, you notice I put that into a furnace. Okay, when we come back to there, you'll see that uh, we have a lot more. Okay, that's a little bit more power. And we'll go ahead and splice that off. And tell you what, we're going to go ahead and drop these portable tanks off right there. Okay. Now if you notice, out of four, we've got six. Four is missing out of there. Now we got eight. We get two overworld ores per every ne nether ore that we mine up. All except for the aridite and the cobalt, which is a one-to-one -one ratio. If you put it through a furnace. Now, you put it through a pulverizer, you'll get two. Just like you would in the smelter. But it makes it easier to do your blends that way. Well, you're thinking, okay, so... You've got 14 regular coal ore out of that many. Well, in the pulverizer over here, know that we have 14. We're putting that through. We have no coal in there. We get two coal per ore. So you're not only doubling, but you're quadrupling your end result. OP. <laughs> so now you understand why I say that I'm using coal to make diamonds. I know you don't directly see it. Well, I'm about to show you. Let's see. That's going to be, I think, seven. Yeah, it's going to leave one. Basically, you take one flint and eight pulverized coal to get a coal ball. Okay? With the coal ball, it gets compressed down in the compressor into a coal chunk. All right, thought I heard something behind me there. It takes a little bit because I don't have any overclockers in it just yet. Now, this isn't automated yet. It has, isn't to where I just put one thing in and it just you know does its thing see you get a compressed coal ball it'll show up right there here in just a moment compressed coal ball you put eight of those around a piece of obsidian in fact I'd, I'll just show you you get coal chunk and for the coal chunk <coughs> one to one ratio you get a diamond yes it's a multi-step process but trips to the nether just to get coal and netherrack which turns into gravel which you pulverize down into flint you can make a lot of diamonds in oh I'd say about two or three trips to the nether <laughs> you could literally make you enough to make probably about four or five suits of armor full suits with most tools and weapons give or take 
<coughs> so now you see I've got 28 out of that 14 I put in now we throw the coal back through and as you see I don't have any of the pulverized coal in there it's a one-to-one -one ratio so that'll be 28 pieces now I could just say slap this into the crafting station and every time I get eight just put it in there and then you know run all them through at one time all right well anyways let's see how our ender farms doing let's see there's regular tiers nine gas tiers not bad <coughs> and go ahead and throw that stuff in there those I want to fix but I'm gonna need gold to fix that you know what we'll go ahead and see alright so as you will see we have three molten invar seven nickel and one iron flip that on let it fill that up let it run through okay now, let's go ahead and grab some gold while we can. Eh, we only got 25 pieces. I'm going to have to go and make a gold run on the nether. Anyways, let's see how much it's going to cost. Too expensive. Basically meaning I'd have to be in creative to repair that. Okay. Now, well, that's easy enough to kind of bypass golden boots the too expensive factor so it's gonna cost me 34 levels to fully repair that easy enough we come over here we stand underneath the shower rain the experience so, I've got to wait a little bit to get 34 levels. As you see, it won't take that long. We're already up to 22 levels, pretty much. So, we needed 34. And as the Endermen get killed... They provide me even more experience. So, I don't have to sit there and slay the Enderman myself to get the levels I need. Two more levels, one more level in just a second. And, click a little bit over. But, you know, hey, it's all right. I can always put that little bit extra back into the thing. As you see, we now have a fully repaired set of boots. Boom. High jump, which means I can literally jump and move faster than I fall. With my jetpack still on, as you see, it is actually now disabled, which I'm powering it up. As you see, those Endermen are also pretty well PO'd at my thing over there, so. There we go, there's an Ender Pearl and Ender Pearl. Now, as you see, I still have one level left over. And I've also got a crap ton of ender pearls. I am going to have to upgrade this chest to a diamond chest. So if I go upgrade, let's see what. Damn. See what it's going to take to make it into a diamond chest. I'm going to need two diamonds, one gold ingot, and just basically glass. 
So, you know, that right there will hold maybe one more row, <laughs> which will be filled up real quick by that. Now, you see I've got Bane of Arthropods 2, Wisdom, Ender Axe. It's got Silk Touch on it. Mm, that's got a pink name. I'm going to keep that. Anything with a pink name is like a rare drop or a rare find. Any weapons or armor, you know, what have you. It's like really rare. Let's jump one feather falling. Two. Got two swiftness twos. I could make that into high jump three, swiftness two, unbreaking two. Boots, but eh. Ones I got on are better. Mm. Let's go ahead and A to Z that one more time. Dude, don't challenge me. Let's see. Okay. Good. Now we're going to pulverize this gold. Heh. <laughs> Force sword, really? You know what? I probably should put my sword back in there. Really, dude. Die. Yes, I know I have the wither right now, but as you see, penetrate to and smite to. And I need to drop off these three levels. Okay, there's an Enderman using my critical strike and was killed with my critical strike. Ah, life still and sticky. I don't like you. Let's see, I need to pull that out so that, you know, whatever else <laughs> needs to get in there can, but I need to go ahead and put some of those into there. See that one doesn't that one really doesn't do much. Let's see what's that overstuffed with? Force sword. Alright. Let's see, we're gonna go ahead and pull out that because we don't really do much of anything with necromancy. And I am wow, almost ten minutes over on this recording. Sorry about that. Didn't realize I'd gone over that much. Alright. So that's got force, that's got force. That actually doesn't have that much force, so. We're going to go ahead and put 32 in there. And that's got plenty, that's got plenty, and that's got plenty. Plus my sword. <laughs> so yeah. The knockback one sword was kind of a eh. I'll use it as needed. Sword. 
But anyways, I'm going to end last call and ask you to please leave so I can shut lock the door behind you and bid you a fine farewell. When it goes deep, go deeper. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. Click that like button if you like this. And, you know, I'll be putting out more. Or you can click that dislike, let me know what you want to see, and, you know, I can see about doing it. And, you know, leave it in the comments below. Anyways. Later.